Joining us today as we preview another film from Northwest Fest is Marianne Vosimets, director and producer of The Body Fights Back. It's playing as part of Northwest Fest, of course, from Thursday, May 6th to Sunday, May 16th. And you can stream it as you can with all the other films at northwestfest.ca. Marianne, I was a little surprised to read that this was the first feature documentary to actually ta tackle diet culture and shift the debate around health towards inclusivity. And I mean, unfortunately, maybe that speaks to how hard it is for people to discuss. So can you give the audience uh, some more background as to what the film is more specifically about and how it expands on that idea? Absolutely. So um, this film effectively pushes back against the um, sort of mainstream understanding of what it means to be healthy. Um, because health is all too often associated with dieting, it's associated with thinness, and that's just not a healthy way to be thinking about those things. This is not, this will not turn into a life well lived, so to say. And it's a documentary that sort of exposes the obsessive behaviours that come with living in this constant state of diet mentality. And, um, and yeah, um, the problem is that disordered eating and body dissatisfaction is just so normalized, it's, it's ubiquitous, it's, it's everywhere. And, and these kinds of eating disordered behaviors are, they're not just tolerated, they're seen as healthy and they're celebrated and, and they're encouraged. And, and that's a massive problem. Um, and on the other hand, you know, we just, uh, we tend to tell fat people to just hit the gym and pull themselves together. But the question that we're not asking is that, why is it that our food environment is just so messed up that, you know, making the healthier choice or, or the more nutritious choice is, is often more expensive, it's less easy to find, etc. cetera. Um, so the film reframes this so-called obesity issue as a political issue. And, and that's the only way we should be talking about it going forward. Because you know this this um, this war against obesity that that we've kept on kept going on about for like the, I don't know forever um, that's that's lost long ago because you know fat people were never the problem it's it's the food environment it's it's unregulated market forces and a multitude of social injustices that that is the real problem that we need to be addressing. So in that sense, that's in a nutshell what, what the film is about. Yeah, and, and you kind of mentioned this already in your answer as well. The film is a direct contrast against, you know, other things that we've seen that focus on intense weight loss or or programs um, that kind of focus around like, oh, they're, they've gained too, people have gained too much worse. It almost comes, uh, you know, like exploitive at that part. So talk to us about the relatability of this documentary to actually examine issues beyond weight and maybe how, you know, that's just maybe symptomatic of other things that people are going through because there's so many more issues at play. That's the thing. Eating disorders are never about food. And the five main characters in the film and how their stories interlink is a perfect example of the fact that we need to really dig a lot deeper and I think that you know this comes down to really gaining the trust of the people that you're portraying as a filmmaker because these are all topics that are not easy to discuss and they're not something you'd normally go and tell to a stranger and um, yeah I think I think it's really important to establish this kind of trusting relationship between the filmmaker and the person because it requires digging into a lot of topics such as trauma and toxic relationships and, and stuff like that, and abusive parenting, for example, because these are all reasons for developing eating disorders. You know, eating disorders are a mental problem. They're not related to food in any way. And um, yeah, and I, and I think one reason that I was able to gain the trust of this, uh, uh, the trust of these people was that I myself have been through some of the same stuff. So that pretty much played into my advantage. They knew where I was coming from. And yeah, together we decided that these are all stories that, you know, need to be, um, that we need to bring those stories forward 
as brutally and as honestly as we possibly can. And, and one thing that I'd, I'd also like to add as a female director is that um, this film is the perfect example of why women's stories need to be told by women. Um, because as I mentioned, there was a lot of talk about um, sexual abuse as well and, 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 you know, toxic dating and stuff like that. Um, and a lot of dressing and undressing in front of the camera and which I'm not sure would have felt as comfortable if the filmmaker had been a man because both the DOP and myself um, were, were women. So in that sense, it just felt kind of okay. And I'm, I'm happy to say now that many, um, many genuine friendships have developed because of this film. And, and I'm happy to say that we still keep in touch with everyone in the film. Yeah. And, you know, you had described in an interview the making of this film as being a year long marathon of guerrilla filmmaking that kind of evoked um, <laughs> some incredibly moving interviews and some of the most moving of your career. So, you know, you just referred to it, the level of honesty of people in this film. It, that approach is what really struck me because it was so candid. So maybe just give us a little bit of insight. You know, you talk about the fact that it helps being a woman tell this story is that how do you kind of get people to that place when really you're kind of pressed for time and create that bond so quickly? Because I think that's what makes this film work so well. It, I would have thought that this was a much longer journey for you. Well, yeah, I mean, as I mentioned, um, a huge thing that played to my advantage was that I have experienced some of the same things and we discussed in length about why this film is poignant, why it's timely, why it needs to be brought out now. And those were all people who had clearly thought these things through in their head. And they were able to um, very eloquently describe um, their experiences. And I'm, and I'm still in awe for everyone in this film because it, it continues to amaze me as well, how brutally honest and, and just accommodating all of those people were. So that's like my, my huge thank you goes out to all of the people involved but not just the people sharing their stories, but also the, the brilliant experts, researchers, um, body image researchers, nutritionists, who are really world-class when it comes to unpacking severe diet culture. And I'm just, I would say that the United Kingdom is one of the few places where you can really, where they do thorough quality body image research and in that sense it was the perfect place to make this film because I originally am from Estonia and I obviously these problems are everywhere because we're all human it's a very human problem to be concerned about the way you look but never in a million years had it been possible to find um, experts and nutritionists who would sort of explain these um, these issues on a psychological, scientific and societal level. The film we're talking about is The Body Fights Back. And our guest has been Marianne Vossimont, uh, director and producer of the film. It's playing as part of Northwest Fest from Thursday, May 6th to Sunday, May 16th. You can stream this film as well as, as, well as so many others at northwestfest.ca. Marianne, thank you so much for the time and the film. Uh, incredibly striking and powerful stuff uh, that you evoke from these people. And I think... You know, it would be amazing to be able to see this as audiences because I think a lot of people would be uh, tapping into a lot of the things that are happening in that film for themselves as well. Thanks for having me. And I very much hope that the audiences will enjoy um, this film as much as we enjoyed making it. <laughs>